We have looked at two independent studies with using this model. And one of the study focuses on what is the right intervention time? What is it, when is it that we need to intervene with these micronutrients and the benefit thereof? And secondly, what we have looked at is the right combination or what is the combination that is required to reduce the incidence of prostate cancer. If you're looking at human prostate cancer, developing microfoci in the third to the fourth decade of life, this is comparable to our model, wherein at about four to eight weeks of age, there is development of microfoci or pin lesions, which eventually develops cancer. So we started the intervention using a combination of three micronutrients, which we have used in the past, and these include vitamin E, selenium, vitamin E is alpha tocopherol, selenium in the form of selenomethionine, and lycopene. And lycopene is a beta keratin, which is found in several foods, like you know, uh, guavas and tomatoes mostly. And this is supposed to be an agent which has worked very well in combination with vitamin E and selenium. So basically, when we combine these three micronutrients and start administering them at different age, that means the different times of development, we found that early intervention, when you intervene within the four to eight weeks of age, was highly beneficial, which caused a significant reduction in the incident of prostate cancer, as well as increased the survival of these in, in the preclinical model. The second study was even more interesting, which showed that you need the combination of vitamin E, selenium, and lycopene to have this effect, or the effect was pronounced when you combine these three, but when we had the vitamin E and selenium alone, it was not beneficial. I would say lycopene is acting like a ringer in the group, trying to coordinate vitamin E and selenium to enhance their potency. So it's actually good that all three put together, it's like a big team effort, all the three put together is able to cause a greater impact than either of these compounds alone. Clinical studies have to be done, have to be done with this combination because so far we have studies looking at vitamin E alone, we have clinical trials looking at selenium alone and both of these have not been a priori until the SELECT. And the SELECT study, however, is focused looking at vitamin E and selenium but from another study has to emerge looking at just not vitamin E and selenium. It has to look at vitamin E and selenium in combination with the lycopene component because from this study we have found out that lycopene is a key component of this combination. So we have to have that compound in the combination and secondly we have to look at clinical trials with early intervention. We, we really need clinical trials to prove the efficacy of this combination, not just a combination. And definitely looking at it in a preclinical model has helped. And but for looking at it in a preclinical model, we wouldn't be able to know whether this combination works because people have tested these compounds in cell lines and it's been proved to be effective. But why hasn't it worked in, the, in, in, in clinical trials? And that is because we haven't had the right combination, we haven't had the right pre right preclinical model. So that is important to the whole thing.